Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another fabulous Tuesday. And that means it's time for another one of the world's most improv crazy streaming segments. Yep, it is time for your intrepid host to once again make a fool of himself playing your favorite barely remembered retro games. It's time for some Bubsy Baby. Woo. Okay, so. Everything's a jump button. Like any good classic platformer, everything's a jump button. Okay, but, wait. Ah, I have a glide button. Even though I am not, in fact, a squirrel, I glide. Yep, 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 yep. Quiet, get that one up. I want that. I want that shirt. Give me that shirt. Got it. Ha ha ha. Oh. Well, that was quick. All right. So we're dealing with uh, we're dealing with one hit kills. It's a good thing I got that extra life off that shirt then. Whee. Okay. There's my glide. So. Whee. Whee. Beep. Beep. There we go. Okay. Now we're starting to get it. Okay. Get my up look. Yeah, these one hit kill games always make me a little nervous. Alright. Uh, I think that's a checkpoint, so that's good. Whee! Oh no, slippery bananas of doom. Oh yeah, but Bubsy was Bubsy was one of okay that ah okay. Well, good thing I got that checkpoint right before that. But yeah, Bub Bubsy was one of many, 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 many '90s platform characters who were trying to crib off the Mario Sonic vibe. And the thing is, in and of itself, there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Those two, along with a few other, you know, one-offs in the 8-bit and early 16-bit era. Certainly. Mm -mm. Shh. Okay, I like my lad. I like my lad. You know, they made a lot of money for their companies. And you can see why other people want to... Woo! Woo! Whoop! Oh, ah! Tried to go for the triple. I got greedy. But yeah, as I was saying, you can see why other people would. Ah! God! God! You scared me! You scared me! You! You freaky alien freak show freak 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 freaks! You're all freaks! I think if I remember the Bubsy lore right, these are woolies. They're here to steal my yarn because I'm a cat and I love yarn. But yeah, what I was saying was... Don't know what's up with that crazy chicken. Ah! Okay. Ah! Ah! Slow. Woo! Alright, ah. Uh, that was a trip and a half. <laughs> That, that, that was actually a pretty inventive, ingenious little, uh, platforming segment here. It's a nice, whoop, whoop, okay, jumps me back to there, jumps me back to, okay, so I don't want to keep jumping back to, okay. God, see, the problem is, is, I don't know, like, I don't know if I'm falling into a pit or a lower section. This is, this is definitely has that, like, cool spot aspect, that was from my last week, where even before the 3D era, platformers started really messing around a lot with the uh, exploring 
it's not just simple left to right what you see on screen element during the 16-bit uh, era, so... Woo! Double lives. But I don't like the water. Oh no! It's still rising! Yip, 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 yip. Okay, yep, I drowned it. Alright, now I seem to keep my yarn and the killing of the enemies. And... I either hit an enemy or I fell too far, I'm not sure. So, let's see if I can do a more controlled. Okay. God, okay, yeah, that definitely is like falling too hard kind of thing. So. Yeah, we're... Okay, there we go. That's a little better. But yeah, what I was saying was, yeah, there was a lot of... Let's just do our little log feed. Woo, flippy world. Woo um, but yeah, there were a lot of characters that were based on this idea of just like, hey, let's try to be... Ooh, checkpoint. Okay, that's what I want. Um, there we go. That's two life there. And I promptly lost one of them. But that's still a one life profit, so that's okay. Glide to control myself a little better. It's definitely an important mechanic that they meant for you to use right early in this game. Whoop. And the chicken killed me. We're good. We're good. That's why the game gives you so many lives to start off. Ah, dang it. On the other hand, there's like a thousand ways to die. We're gonna do this though. We're gonna figure this out. We because we are Bubsy. God bless it. Forgot that's where the chicken was. It killed me initially. All right. Let's do this slowly now. We know there's a mean old chicken over here. Don't, don't. There we go. There we go. There we go. No, I don't like the bananas. I don't like the alien woolies. So, yeah. But Bub Bubsy got, in, in, in his prime, he got like, he, he got... Uh, a few games put out, then he went on a hiatus for a while, and he actually is one of the characters that... Okay, there's my big finish one. Yay! Um, smaller studios are getting the publishing rights to, since they're relatively cheap. And have built up an infamous internet reputation. Woo! Forbidden Plummet. Um, that is been getting a revive. That is, they're trying to get revived to. Bubsy had a new game um, put out this past year. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Th this this game definitely is more of a Sonic than a Mario vibe. With the various springs and segments where the game will go faster than you're technically controlling it for a moment. Kind of catch you off guard, so. Okay, that was a checkpoint. That's good. No, I don't want to go all that. There we go. I just want to go up there so I can get my box of yarn. I assume, I mean, if you get a super high amount of yarn, like maybe you get an extra life at the end of the level. So, we're just going to keep collecting our yarn, because the yarn collecting is good. And remembering our glide button. 
Yeah, I don't know why a cat glides like a squirrel. I mean, it's it's definitely a feature that they you know built the levels around, assuming you would use it for safe landings and plant, you know, getting a better peek at things before you fly. So <laughs> I don't want to actually hit the lilies right there because I don't even realize I'm doing it. Of course, part of that's that spastic cloud thing he does whenever he hits an enemy. Pew, pew. So. And they attempted to make a cartoon series with Bubsy. For people who were not around during the initial Bubsy hype. Little history lesson here. And the woolly got me. Should have gone higher. Should have glided when I fell off the log flume. It's okay. We're doing okay. But yeah, they, they actually filmed a, or animated a, pilot for a, an anvil? Can't push it. Huh. I can't break it open. Maybe it's, okay, I got killed by the piano. I did not know that killer pianos were a thing in this game. So you know what? We're just going to keep going this way. Kill the woolly. Kill the woolly. Kill the woolly. Kill the woolly. Woo! Okay, that took a lot less lives in the first chapter, but again, I was getting used to the controls. So yeah, they filmed a cartoon pilot. Cartoon pilot didn't really get picked up or go anywhere. Wasn't that quite that much interest in Bubsy. A bridge to fur. Yeah, th this game is just very puntastic. This was... Again, this was this was the '90s, or at worst, the early mid '90s era where, you know, it was like pun humor was just the the, the peak of comedy. So you know, you have the full title of the game, "Claws Encounter of the Fur Kind." Ah, oh, come on, that was too hard to die. Ah. A bridge to fur, you know. A lot of movie references, because it's all the pop culture age, man. Don't get me wrong, I like my pop culture humor. Dude, what the f What the hell, bro? It's a Yarny UFO. Woo, that was a lot of points. That, like, really weirded me out. I just didn't... I did not expect to see a little UFO yarn. Hey, cave. <gasps> Whoa, that was a lot of skipping. I don't know if that skipping was a good thing or not, because I also skipped a checkpoint. So now I'm nervous, because... Ah! Expecting my platform to be back there. Ugh. Yes, I know. It's a bridge too fur. I missed my checkpoint, so I'm back at the beginning again. Okay, let's just take it. Eat. See, Bubsy does not want to take it easy. He's got that Sonic gotta go fast thing going, but since when you had rings, Sonic had a couple chances to... Okay, yeah, see, that's gonna kill me. I... I guess you have to take the shortcut and then backtrack? Uh, I'm running out of life, so I hope there's a continue option at least. But yeah, the, he's, he's got that like immediate slip and slide thing with the terrain, which just makes you feel like you have to run all the time. But you know the second you touch something, you're going to get killed, so you don't want to run. Okay, there's one checkpoint. I want to go back and see if I can get that 
extra life too. Because I'm just about out of lives. Because I spent way too many lives on the first stage. Here we go. Getting used to the awkward control scheme. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to build up a little momentum and get out. Oh, okay, now that one's fine. It's the gotta watch, wait for the bridge. Be patient. The game wants me to go fast. It wants to be spastic and high energy. But I can't be. Because it's a one hit kill situation. Bad chicken! And if I lose all my life. Ah, I should have gone down and gotten a t shirt. Yeah, I mean. You know, depending on how you build your game, having less levels but each level being bigger and having all these alternate paths to the exit and backtracking hidden item thing, like that can definitely work in a game. Ah! Really should have hit my emergency glide there. get the life. I don't know what the black t-shirt is. What that black t-shirt was. I don't think I want to know. Oh, come on. A box of tacks. Like, I didn't even know that was a thing. Ugh. Woo. And the car kidnapped me. Yes, I want to continue. Alright, let's try this with a full set of lives. Woo! Now the basic layout of the level now. Come on, there should be a... There we go, there's my springy. Spring. Spring. It's my sprockets. Sprockets. I am Dieter, you're watching Sprockets. This is an old Mike Myers character from SNL. Okay, so this is above the cave thing, so... Apparently, I just... Yep, yeah, so see, that's my alternate path. If you stay on the platform, you don't have to go through the cave and then backtrack to your checkpoint. So that's good. Don't know if those potted plants can kill me and I don't want to know. Eh, I don't want to go back this far. No. 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 Control falls. Control falls. Yeah, this, this is like... That's what I'm saying. It's a really weird, like, pseudo-sonic vibe. It's a fun game. Ugh. It, it, it's, it's, you know, it, it looks nice. It, you know, as you start getting used to the control scheme, it, it does play nice. Like, you know, it's, it's, I'm enjoying the challenge. It's not a, this game is screwing me to try and get more quarters out of me arcade unfair difficulty thing okay that jump was bs though for the record folks that jump was bs but um but yeah the okay the bridge is still there from four it's a good thing to know um Ah, God. It's like if you bounce off the woolly, it's an all-or-nothing shot. Oh, 
Oh, but this time the bridge isn't there. That's just weird. Yeah, the game has all these little parts where you're slipping and sliding on the grass and the ground because it's uneven terrain. But at the same time, you can't let yourself just... Dang it! Yeah, like, you can't let yourself slip and slide all the time because there's all these parts that are trying to kill you, like drowning in the water. But you can't drown in the water. Because then you got to backtrack to your checkpoint. You just got to, like, take it and jump, and take it and jump. And we're going to land here. Where does this cave go? We're going to look at this cave. What? So wait. So wait, if I go this way, that takes me to here. But if I go again... So that is like a one-way... Oh, see, that's cheap. That just... That's cheap. They do that just to make you... And I gotta redo the bridge. It just like resets that whole section of the game. But yeah, this, this, this game's learning curve has a lot to do with just knowing exactly where to land so you're okay there we go there's my checkpoint there's my evil chicken you gotta know exactly where to land so you okay okay no 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 glide 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 Oh, thank God. Oh, I got so nervous I was going to hit something that was going to kill me. Oh, it's such a nerve-wracking game. I can't kill the gumball. But the gumball can kill me. Okay, that's... that. That is a cheap enemy. Like, I'm trying to praise this game. It is a fun... It is a game that feels fun to play, but... Oh, my... God. Like, there's just parts in this no bad car yeah but it's just it's so much stuff is out to kill you like this is n definitely not a game meant for people that are like brand new to platforming and don't really have good reflexes and i mean i say that as somebody that grew up in this era of gaming and apparently have crappy reflexes myself Okay. What's down there? Okay. Let's go down here because I don't want to deal with the evil cars. Do I want to go in this cave? Okay. It backtracked, but that's a lot of yarn and a lever. What did the lever do? Does that let me go the other I mean, obviously I have to go the other way. I don't know what the lever did, though. Okay. I, I, th I guess it pulled the water down in this section. Because I remember there being water instead of spikes before. Oh, this isn't a shortcut. I still got to do the part with the houses. That was just a way to get an extra life and a bunch of yarn. See, that's the thing with these exploring games. It's a really neat thing to do if you design the levels to be really interesting. And these are really interesting levels. But oh my god. It's like at the same time. Okay, I'm just going to very carefully. Very deliberately. Because I am so ready to find a checkpoint or the end of the level. Don't have enough yarn. I don't want any more yarn. I'll be perfectly happy. There we go. Use my look down option. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. 
Oh, stop, stop, stop slip sliding. Checkpoint, checkpoint, yes, checkpoint. Ugh. And they're bosses. <laughs> Big yarn UFOs. Okay, so that's your checkpoint up for the boss. So I have to do these bosses without getting hit once. Okay, I gotta hit it when they're peeking out. Oh my god, that's so nerve wracking! Ah! So nerve wracking to have two of them and you can't, and you only have one hit. That is like. Ugh! That's such a awkward and cruel thing to do with bosses. Okay, hit him! No, hit! Hit, no, 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 glide, get away from the... No, 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 no! Too much yarn, too much... Okay, okay, one's dead. One's dead, this is, this is more controllable now. Okay, God. Just right about, come on. Where's my timing? Gotta leap you. Ah, ah. Right about, ah. Wait, wait, bounce. Bounce. Come on, come on, baby. Yeah, okay. Okay, moving a little faster. It's typical of bosses. Yes, okay, got it. Woo! Woo, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm not sure if this is act MKBRLA. I'm just, I'm not sure if this is a game that I actually, like, I don't know if this is a good game or not. Fair conditioning. See, it's like air conditioning, but it's also a fair. That's a very evil hot dog, which makes me sad. I don't like killing hot dogs. I'd rather eat hot dogs. The delicious. A little ketchup mustard, maybe some cheese. Some chill, some chili, and I got ice creamed. But it doesn't kill me; it just slows me down. Well, that killed me. Yeah, like he's fun. He's fun to control, because you get that. As I said, you get that sonic. You know, sp speed is everything. You know feel to them, but you don't have that, hey, I picked up a ring, or in this case, a yarn, so I have extra hits thing. It's like, no matter how much yarn I have, I'm still a one-hit kill. So I start running, and I feel really cool about it, but then I get scared, because I'm like, uh, uh, I know there's a woody out, or, ah, oh, he jumped on me, I was not expecting that. I thought I could play on my jump. Game over. Okay, well, we got World 4. Not bad for first time. Um, and I did not think... Okay, I did not... I should have written that past command. But you know what? That's okay, because... Ladies and gentlemen... We also have Bubsy 2. That's right. The second Bubsy game came out on the Super NES as well. So we're just going to go ahead and play Bubsy 2. Grand Tour, play for points. Okay, apparently I have more things I can do now besides jump and glide. So that's going to be jump, glide, toy, okay. Two player feisty, one player mini, two player mini. We're definitely doing grand tour. Yeah, we're definitely doing the, um, 
single player mode, so. Don't know what that is. Okay, so we'll push up. Fleece Academy. Okay. Okay, and this is my ammunition. Not directly related. Well, that's creepy. Just disappeared. Apparently, I. Okay, so already it looks like I have, if not multiple lives, it's not checkpointing. I definitely made some changes with this game. fire button since it looks like I have unlimited ammo. I don't want to go in the tunnels anymore. The tunnels scare me. I can't see what I'm doing. I don't like to fly when I can't see what's in front of me. So, I've got at least one, maybe two hits before I... Okay, I have to go in the tunnel. Like, there's just so much going on in this stage. I don't know what I'm supposed to touch and what I'm spo not supposed to touch. And I'm just going to assume everything kills me. I guess I have no choice but to go in the... Like, I don't even know where... So it's a big exploratory level, but it's also a flying plane thing. Okay, I can't... Okay, those are my marbles I'm supposed to get. That's good. That's good. No, no, no. See, I was trying to kill them. Get the marbles. And I crashed against the hot air balloon. Wow. This is a really strange, trippy level. Maybe this was not the best level to start off with. Okay, so I know last time they wanted me to go high. Don't kill me! Because I went low, and I hit a tunnel that shot me up high, backwards and high. Oh yeah, big sack of marbles. Again, like, I don't know why we're collecting the marbles and the yarn. Like, the first game was the yarn. Okay, that's the thing that shot me back, so... I just have to remember I can't touch the baskets. I can I can fly past the balloons, but not the baskets. I don't know what that was, but that was some kind of item. Woo! Okay. Okay, so that beat that level. I mean, I guess if in theory I get so many, I get an extra life or something, but yeah. Okay, I can go up and down, but can't... Okay, there it is. I was about to say, I can't go backwards. It's just being weird. Okay. Gift shop! I can buy! I only have one of those. Okay, I guess I'll just buy that. What's my buy button? Okay. Okay, so I beat Fleece Academy. Looks like a music stage. It's a piratey stage. Egyptian looking stage. God, how many levels are there in this game? Oh, apparently it's just cycling 
It's okay, it's working in a loop here, so. Alright, we'll just do Medieval World then. My penguin for a horse! Okay. Well then let's penguin for a horse. Starting to get the feeling that instead of the willies, like this is more of a pigs or bad guys thing. So we besides going from a blatant platformer that just runs you through different worlds. Now we're going into more of a hub world kind of feel to it. But it's still got this frogapult now. Wait, what? I thought I was doing my kingdom for a... Okay. Come on, Mr. Froggy. Aren't you going to get in the... Okay, well, maybe I'll just go down then. I guess maybe i got to load you up first. Oh, I see. I see. It was what... Okay, I get what I'm doing now. Okay, well, let's just go full tilt then. Ah, I see. He's. That's just applying the pressure. Okay, we'll do a little less. Do like half, and then maybe more towards the middle. Oh, come on! I didn't hit anything that time! A little more pressure right about there. I think this is my last froggy, so... Woo! Okay, I hit something so I can keep going. Okay. Or not. I guess I just got... Cre okay, one hit, so... No lives won. Okay, apparently I just... That was a bonus game thing. Alright. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing in this level. Okay. Okay, that's my. I got my big marble gun since I'm not. So, besides jumping, I have the option of limited use weapons. Not the bees! Not the bees! Even Nicolas Cage doesn't want the bees! And he is incredibly heroic! He was Ghost Rider. And he was that quirky biochemist scientist guy hanging out with Sean Connery in The Rock. You know, that was a really good movie. I gotta try that movie down again. Bad sheep. You're bad sheep and you're bad piggies. And you guys take more than one hit and I'm gonna keep smacking you until you die. Because you're bad. And speaking of dying. Okay, so. Wee! Weep! 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 Could've go fast, but gotta be afraid of going fast. Or marbles, marbles are okay. Bees are bad. Oh, hopefully, that gave me another hit back. I would think so, since that's a band aid. Can I shoot up? No, I can't. Oh, come on. Oh, stupid bait thing. Bounce on everybody's head. And the bees killed me. Does not the bees! End of game. Okay, well, you know what? We'll just start over and try some other levels and see what they look like. Oh, personality, because it's, cause it's a cat. Because Bubsy's a cat. Alright. Grand Tour. Alright, let's go back to the East Wing, because it looked like there was maybe one other game in there. Yeah, there 
was e oh, two games because it was Egypt and Pirates. Oh, and music, three games. Yeah, we missed a lot of stuff. Okay, let's try, let's do the music level. So it looks like it's what if we assume West Wing has five of these, ten worlds at least, because it mentions first floor. Like, wow, this actually could be a really, really long game. Which makes me wonder why it doesn't have, like, a save feature. Because I don't know how they would expect people to beat this game in one sitting. Maybe it has a password feature and I just didn't do enough to earn a password. Woo! Woo! Well, I will say, even though I'm, like... Even though I don't really understand what I'm doing besides the classic platformer collect everything, get to the exit mindset. Oh, come on. That, this thing hitboxed me. Like, I do. I do have to say, I like that they gave me. Apparently, I'm torturing frogs again. Um, okay, so same basic mechanic, just a little less oomph to it. Or maybe more oomph! All the oomph! Try it from this angle. Ha ha! Okay, I got something. So I'm gonna do just a teeny little bit. Just the absolute smallest bit. I'm gonna try to hit that little star. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on! Hit the star! Yeah! Alright, I'm just gonna hit the stuff in the front row. Yeah! I uh, hope that hit boxes. Yeah! Okay. So we're gonna have to go really far up because I wanna get these others. Okay, now I'm getting the swing of this thing, so. Woo! Let me see what I can do. You. Okay, apparently that was all my froggies. <gasps> hey, I want a life back! Yay! Okay. C sharp or D flat? So this whole section is not a... So I can't go... Stop it! Bad goat person. I'm trying to look around and see what's there. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what you get. You get murdered. You're being very rude. It's a lever. Let me push the lever. Come on! Where is my... Okay, up button, duh. Should have thought of that, up does everything. Up dog? Yo, up dog? Woo! Hey! More Nerf Pilots, sweet. <gasps> Checkpoint! Yes, okay. Uh, I don't know if this is a good area to be in, but hey, it's a checkpoint. That's better than nothing. Ah, bad accordions. Weird jump pattern. But they're also one hitters, so. Ah. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to push levers, so that's fine. Good, good, good checkpoint to be at then. After all. Okay. So I'm gonna go down. Controlled fall. God. Go away, piggies. I don't want to deal with piggies. Okay, we're right under the wall. So is there a lever I can backtrack to? Okay, those are apparently spikes. Those are not happy fun time friends.
Betty, I need to go. <laughs> I want to go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, no, those are bad. Those are bad. Bad penguins. Bad penguins. Bad spikes. Ah, it's just so mazy. Everything looks alike because it's all music themed. Stupid spikes. <sighs> yeah, th these are definitely games that you play over and over again, and like you and your butt, you get together with your buddies and you start like memorizing sequences on them because there is some holy. Nike's awkwardness to these levels. But, as I've said before about various other... Ah! Thought I had a little farther before the spikes. Um, yeah, as I said before about various other infamous retro games, it's not... It's difficult, but not in a way that makes you want to just, like, never play the game again. It's more difficult in a... If I just got, you know, learn the layout of the stage a little better. If I just... Okay, okay I don't want to go too far. Ah! Jump damage kill. Dang it, I finally remembered about the spikes. But yeah, um, yeah, this is one of those games where you feel like if you just keep playing it, you know, you learn the layout of the stage, you will conquer it. But I'm really not trying to spend the next week of my life playing this nonstop trying to remember the layout. So, you know what? It's a little short, but we're going to go ahead and call bu our Bubsy double feature here. Um, real quick, let's go ahead and check the West Wing. Let's see what this... Play for points, play for time. Okay, I don't know what that's supposed to do, but let's just look at the West Wing real quick and see what kind of level themes this had before we call it a night. But, yeah, the Bubsy games are not... These are not bad games. I, I can see why they made several games in the series before they... Boy, that's... That's that's the same levels. Is that... Did they just redo the same... Okay, no, the same icons, but yeah, they didn't call the last one the Hindenburger, so... Apparently, it's just each version has a similar level. Yeah. That's weird. Okay, yeah. Th this play is very similar to the last one. Actually, it may be the last one. I just don't recognize these sequences because I was trying to figure out what was going on. Um, so, yeah. East Wing, West Wing. You know what? Um... I think out of two games, like, and now I'm going this way. Um, I I feel like I, I I like having the extra weapon besides your jump, even even if it's finite ammo and a couple different th types. Like, eh, let's just say that's a flash bomb. Uh, it must be like you get out of free item, but um, but yeah, I like having the secondary i I like having the items to use in this version. Woo! Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. I'm not Sonic, but I gotta go fast. Um, and and, and having the the second, I think even third hit, depending on your fall damage stuff. Um, 
If we could combine that with the first game's more classic platformer feel, then I, I feel like that would have been the perfect Bubsy game. So... Instead, they made Bubsy 3D, which was an infamous bomb. Well, no, actually, excuse me, that was the fourth game. Uh, third game was Fractured Furry Tales for the Jaguar, and I... I guess a lot of people just didn't play it, because a lot of people didn't play the Jaguar. But, um... But, yeah, um... I mean, these are enjoyable games, and I think you could definitely, um... With, with practice, especially that first game, because that was really a lot about knowing the layout of this level, um, and the placement of the enemies. But, you know, I th yeah. That, if, if this was something, like, somebody gave you as a gift or something, I could definitely see myself playing the first game over and over again, getting the layout of the levels, and getting farther than I did, and enjoying the challenge. The second one's a little strange. The second one feels like you need, like, a strategy guide, like, quick tutorial thing ahead of it to know what you're doing and what's going on. I guess that's why, you know, they used to give us instruction manuals for games. So... I will see everybody next week. Um, we will play something else. I may switch back to 8-Bit NES if I don't have my grinding ready in Robotrek. I swear we're going to go back to Robotrek one day, folks. Because I did barely touch on that game. Um, but yeah, it's just really hard to grind in that first part of the game. But you have to for that first boss. So, it's a thing. Join me next week. Everybody have a good time. And hopefully for my really dedicated viewers, I will see you Friday for my Friday Ramblings vlog. Aw, he broke the screen getting frustrated. Met a joke. Everybody have a good night.